Hi everyone. So as many of you know, we invest a lot of time and energy here to sales message in building one of the best SMS texting and calling extensions for HubSpot. And in this video, I want to walk you through five new features and improvement that will make the sales message HubSpot integration even better. First on the list is the addition of sales message triggers and actions to all HubSpot workflow types you can now leverage the power of SMS through any workflow type you have configured in HubSpot, whether it's a contact or a deal or a conversation-based workflow, using sales message triggers and actions to make your workflows even more effective. The sent from SMS action for HubSpot workflows got a major update that I'm very excited to share with you, specifically the sent from field. Beside the two uh, traditional options you're used to for sending from a sales message inbox and sending as contact owner, there's a third new option in that list and that's the advanced option. So the advanced option allows you to map sales message inboxes to your contacts in HubSpot based on any rule you like. For example, let's say you have many regions that you operate in and you want to map inboxes in your sales message list of inboxes to your contacts based on the region. You can copy your inbox ID from sales message and map it to your contacts using a, sale, a HubSpot workflow. But once that's done, when you create your workflows, you no longer need to create a branch for every uh, sales message inbox you intend to use for that workflow. Just use the whatever property you have used to map to your sales message inbox and then the number will be dynamically assigned, significantly increasing the speed with which you create and run these workflows. Next is a feature that many of you have asked for and that's the ability to import your HubSpot lists into sales message. With the new import and sync HubSpot lists feature in sales message, you can do just that. Choose one or multiple lists you want to import to sales message and once you do so, you can filter out those uh, uh, the contacts in those lists in your context view, perhaps even add tags to these contacts. But even better, you could run specific broadcasts to the contacts in these lists from the broadcast feature of Sales Message. We also added a brand new action to contact-based workflows in HubSpot, and that's Sales Message Create or Update Contact. Now you can create sales message contacts right from within a HubSpot workflow. You can choose whichever HubSpot token you want to use for the phone number. You can even use multiple if you want a fallback option. And the nice thing here is that the last name, first name, email, and contact owner of that contact record in HubSpot will also be used when, that, when creating that contact in sales message to ensure you don't have any incomplete records. Last but not least is a feature we added for our customers who send mass texts through HubSpot workflows to a large list of contacts, and that is round robin assignment for outbound messages. Before this feature, if you sent a large uh, workflow uh, using shared inboxes, those outbound messages were going to be unassigned. That means the moment you start receiving uh, inbound text messages, you will have to quickly assign those conversations to the right individuals. Now with this feature, you can ensure that outbound messages are already assigned before you start receiving responses, helping you become more productive. That's it for this sales message HubSpot integration update. Are there any other features you want us to add to this integration? Hop over to feedback.salesmessage.com and let us know and we will make it happen. If you are a HubSpot user and you are considering adding SMS to the mix, please do so by starting your free trial of sales message today. And if you would like to get a deeper dive on how sales message and HubSpot work together, by all means, book a demo and somebody from our team will walk you through all the details you need to know. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next update.